Hello and welcome. You are now looking at YouTube.com and what we're going to do is we're going to set up for semi-private meetings. And in order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a place for us to archive all of our meetings. And we're going to go to this area of your YouTube channel where it says YouTube settings. Once you click YouTube settings, what you're going to notice is that the very last link says see all my channels or create a new channel. You are going to create a new channel. You'll notice here that it says to create a new channel. So you're going to click that button and then you're going to give that brand account a name. Once you've done that, you're going to click create. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your creator studio. That's going to bring you to this channel link and you're going to want to be enabled for live streaming. So you're going to click enable. Google is going to take you through an account verification process. You'll want to go through that process. And once you've completed Google's verification process, you'll then be ready to start the next step. Once you are back in your YouTube channel, what you're going to do is you're going to click the events link. That's going to bring you to this page. You're going to click new live event. You're actually going to give your event a title. And what you're going to do then is you're going to go to this drop down menu and you're going to make it private. Now what you're going to do now is you're now going to click the either go live now button or you're going to actually click this area that specifies a time. So in this particular case, we're just going to click the go live now button. YouTube is going to give us a message saying that we're doing a hangout on air. We're going to click OK. Now the interface for hangouts on air is slightly different. Now you'll notice that there is a camera there. The camera currently is being turned off. You can turn that on. Any of your guests can turn on their camera in the very same way in this area. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find out if we can reach our guests and if they are available to meet. And we're going to do that by going to invite people and we're going to put their email address in this area. And then we're going to click invite. Now that invitation has been posted to that individual and now they will get notice as to whether or not they can actually attend. That person will get an email saying that they have been invited to a call and they can choose to join by clicking this button. You'll notice now that there are now two people that are part of the call and you actually have a blank screen. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to share the screen so that we can begin to work on the document with the other individuals in the actual room. So we're going to click screen share. And now we're now sharing the actual document on screen. But there's one more step that we want to take because we want to be able to archive this with the other individuals so that once it's over, we will have a recording. And in order to do that, we have already set the parameters to private so we can actually broadcast this without any fear that there is going to be anyone else watching. Our privacy settings means that the only people that are going to be able to see the broadcast are going to be those that are actually on the call. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the start broadcast button. Now you'll notice that it says that the hangout on air will now be broadcast on YouTube. That means then that it will be broadcast privately and that the recording will be there once we've completed the meeting. So what we're going to do is we're going to click OK. So then the Hangout on Air will actually begin. It will actually begin recording. We'll work through the document. And then at some point, the meeting or the Hangout will end. Now, obviously, we can use the group chat. That will not be recorded. But any discussion that will be had between people verbally will be caught on the actual recording. So anyone that speaks, they'll be able to be on camera. They'll actually also be able to be on audio. 
What we'll need to do then at the end of this call is we're going to click Stop Broadcast. So now that the broadcast has been stopped, we can actually click Stop Screen Sharing. And we can now click Hang Up. And what you'll notice, it says that the Hangout on Air is now over. And the recording is now being broadcast and uploaded to YouTube. And sure enough, if we go to our video manager, we can see that there is our meeting having been archived. So that is how you would actually work around the fact that Google Hangouts can be used for meeting, working, and collaborating, and yet archiving for central purposes. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.